Hello well, every bloodsuckers, um, this video is going to be a little bit different from other Yu-Gi-Oh videos where I've shown you where I've had gameplay of my duels. Uh, this one's going to have pre-recorded duel because I took part in Mistress Doom's Duel Tower, or Tower of Duel. I forget how she says it, I think it's Tower of Duel. But, um, it didn't go well for me. I actually used, uh, this deck, which is, I hate when it does that. Hold on a second. Which is Earth Bounds using the Assault Formula, as you see right here. And, don't get me wrong, this deck is pretty good. The only issue is it has a very high break rate, right? At least the version I'm running has that high break, uh, break rate, right? Sorry, I keep getting my words mixed up. But, um,. I went up against one of the tower defenders and in my first duel I bricked right away which I'll get to once I get over to the pre-recorded video so let's go ahead and go over there so as you can see right about here as soon as I draw my cards I brick I can't really do nothing um, luckily, it wasn't my go for the first turn, but when the second turn comes around, I break and I just completely don't have much to do. I do destroy one of their monsters, but, well, you'll see. Also, since I didn't explain in the intro, the rules of the tower is simple. You have to beat both to at least two defenders, and if you lose once, you're out of the tournament completely. So because I bricked, I was out. I couldn't go back in, I couldn't, it's not switch style, it's one loss, you're eliminated type style. And see, they were already setting up, basically getting rid of their cards that they need to get rid of. And here I just kind of lose because even though they set one card face down, I get rid of that card. Because I do draw a monster that I can use. But from there, my hand isn't great as you can see. But, um, another thing, I do use Foolish Burial Goods on 1 for 1. Now, the reason why I used it on for 1 for 1, I don't use for 1 for 1, and there was no chance that I was going to draw that. Like, it, it's like a 50-50 chance that I would have drawn 1 for 1. And the reason why I don't use 1 for 1 is because this deck has better ways of getting monsters out. Sure, I could have used it on Earthbound Fusion, but again, there was no chance that I would get a monster that I needed or even draw a well, I did have Earthbound. You know what? I think I should have used it on one of my Earthbound fusions. Oh well, I made a mistake. And I admit that I made a mistake. But at the same time, I don't think I could have won it. Even if I did, because I still would have needed an Earthbound monster. And I would have need a monster to fuse too to use the earthbound fusion in my hand. So I could have 
gotten rid of an Earthbound Monster or Mortal. Say Earthbound Immortal because my deck has got a few Immortals in it. I could have put that in the graveyard. But there was no chance that I would have drawn a card for fusion or anything like that. So, like right around here, I used Ash Blossom. But, again, I was gonna lose either way. Unfortunately, because I bricked and I had nothing I could use. And that was the problem. So, pretty much from here, as you can see, I'm done. Like, there's nothing I can do. I have no traps, none of the spells will help me, and I have no monsters, so I'm done, it, I mean that's just basically it, unfortunately. It was still fun, and I enjoyed watching the rest of the stream. Got the little time to chill. Now, also, this will be the only other time. Oh no, I'm sorry. This will be the only time Mr. Doom will ever run the Fortress. Of, that's what it's called, Fortress of Duel. The Fortress of Duel again. She's the originator from it, but. She handed over to Hell Kitty Selena, and this was a one off type deal for her community because she's who got her charity stream going on, and she thought this would be fun to do, which it was. Like, don't get me wrong, this was absolutely fun to do, even though I lost the first round, I still enjoyed it. Loved having, having to do it. Uh, I just wish I could have won the first round at least and made it to the second. But unfortunately, as I said, the salt formula that I was running has a 50 50 chance of breaking. Unfortunately for me, it just happened in the first round. But that's okay. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, also, thanks to this person who is now free content who didn't know how shorts work and how cubics work anyways i love you all hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching this good night my little blue sucker